Hi, Lincoln. Nick Oregon, general manager at Shimmer Chevy Buick in Mendota, Illinois. You've been talking with Aaron on this 2007, or I'm sorry, 2012 uh, LTZ diesel. Uh, I personally traded for this. Good customer of mine. Uh, they're farmers just north of town. They traded this one in and another one. Original owner. Uh, it's got 65,000 miles on it. It's really been taken good care of. Uh, I'm just going to point out a couple things to you here, Lincoln. So if you look here, um, tires, rims, you know, you got a little bit of oxidation going on here, but it's kind of common on these things. Unfortunately, they put the wheel weight on there. I'm not a huge fan of that. Tires are at 80% all day long, okay? Uh, here's another point you got to really look. If you look up in, under here, there's no rust or anything, okay? That's something that is really bad on these. If you you got to really watch that. Same thing back here. Cab corners are all solid, no rust, no nothing, okay? Uh, another point that you got to really look. Up underneath here, there's no bubbles or anything. This is where they really start to rust, and this thing's really in good shape. Obviously, you're going to have always some surface rust on the frame there, Lincoln, but it's really not that bad. Okay, going around to the back. Um, tailgate's in good shape. Not all banged up or anything. It does have a bed liner in it. It does have a hide-a-ball fifth wheel. I can tell you this, though. Mr. Atherton really did not pull a whole lot with this. He was an older gentleman. His son actually did more of the pulling with his truck than he did on his own. Uh, same thing over here, you know, no rust start or anything. Wheels and tires are in great shape. Uh, Coco Dune leather interior. Really nice uh, contrast to the white color on the vehicle. Um, in here, you're going to see that it has uh, heated and cooled seats, okay? Uh, Bluetooth capability for your phone. Uh, and once again, you know, the, the Coco Dune interior, I mean, it's, this vehicle's really been taken good care of. So here's a couple things I want to tell you. Because you're out of state, there's a few things that I want to be up front with you. Number one is, is I'll only accept if you do uh, financing, a wire transfer, or cash. And please don't bring me this much cash, okay? I really don't want that. But I can help you with financing. The only reason why I do that is I can't accept a check out of state, okay? But we'd love to have your business. I can help you out with shipping or whatever we got to do. Heck, I'll even pick you up at the airport if I need to, Lincoln. All right, great talking to you and hope to hear from you soon.